first quarter, no score. Joe Burns, left tackle, 17 of his 120 yards on the ground. Seven zip, Georgia Tech. Later in the first quarter, George Godsey, option left. Kelly Campbell has got it. And Kelly Campbell is going to go 50 yards for the touchdown. It's now a 14-0 ball game. Second quarter, Virginia down 21 zip. Dan Ellis back to pass. Down he goes. Fourth quarter, Georgia Tech up 21 zip. Godsey airing it out. This time, Campbell as a receiver. Touchdown. Georgia Tech wins a lot to nothing. 35 zip the final. Georgia Tech scoring touchdowns on its first three possessions. Godsey goes 29 of 37 for 323. Yellow Jackets likely clinch their four straight postseason trip to a bowl game, while Virginia must win its final two games. Virginia Tech and Frank Beamer taking on Central Florida. First quarter scoreless. Michael Vick not playing with a bad ankle, but they did have Lee Suggs. One-yard touchdown run. And then it Suggs again. Another one-yard touchdown run. We are still in the first. Suggs again. Another one-yard touchdown run. He had three touchdowns in the first half. Tech up 21-7. Now Suggs, 13 yards, third quarter. And then it Suggs. One more touchdown. Five TDs in the ball game for Suggs. And the Hokies go on to win by the score of 44-21. Suggs also picked up 143 yards. Ryan Schneider, 26 of 41 for 346. Three touchdowns in the loss. Vatek now 9-1 and, and in the running for an at-large berth in the field. Looking for the biggest crowd. Check out a football game in the history of the state of Texas. Bob Stoops and his troops dealing with noise. Second quarter, 10-7 Sooners. Josh Heupel picked off by Jason Glenn. And the Aggies taking advantage of Sooner miscues that led to an A&M field goal on the next possession. Heupel looking for Andre Wolfolk. He caught it, but then he put it on the ground. Another turnover. Michael Jamison has it. And on third and goal, the Aggies from the Ford. Mark Ferris looking for Robert Ferguson. And Robert Ferguson showed up in this ballgame with a bad knee and a bad hand, but he still had a big game with big catches. Aggies took a 17-10 lead at the break. It's 24-21, fourth and inches. What do you want on your tombstone? Jamar Toombs, a big fella, carrying every Sooner short of Bosworth into the end zone, 31 to 21. Coach, how did this run make you I feel? I got goosebumps watching his, watch his balance. That's a real shot he took there. Strong, stiff arm, Rocky Kelmas can't even bring him down. The 12th man going nuts, Toombs. It looks as if the Aggies maybe have control of this thing. But the Sooners would have none of it. Heupel leads his team back. Quentin Griffin dashing into the end zone, and the Sooners are right back in it. Looking at 31-28. First play from scrimmage after the touch. Picked is Ferris by Torrance Marshall. Yeah, Torrance Marshall with this play may have saved the run at the national championship. Not only did he pick it off, he took it back, wouldn't let Heupel knock him down. Not bad for your first career interception, and Oklahoma has a 35-31 lead, but AM would fight back. Third and goal. Ferris looking for Ferguson. Might have had him, and bummed that he missed that one. He's got one more chance on fourth and goal. Just under three minutes to go into the end zone, into a crowd, to the turf, and Oklahoma comes up with the stop. The a ms defense would stiffen. Heifel throwing it in. I want you to watch this game-saving play for the moment by Jay Brooks. Running down Savage. Jay Brooks gives the Aggies one more chance. Now on fourth and 20. Here comes Ferris. He finds Porter. Greg Porter stops short tackling by the Sooners. Stops short of the first down marker. And Oklahoma goes into Kyle Field. Loud place. 87,000 plus. And the Sooners come out of a 35-31. Josh Heupel did not start well in this game, but it showed what he was made of. He North could be decided if Nebraska could knock off K-State. Second quarter, Wildcats down by four. Jonathan Beasley, Quincy Morgan. Morgan finding space, and he'll take it to the house. Quincy Morgan had a huge day. A lot of crossing routes, got some man coverage, and he beat that secondary. It's 23-14 at one point. Huskers got it to 23-21, and then Dan Alexander is running downhill. 45 yards, and Nebraska has regained the lead 28-23. Frankie Solich watching as the pouring rain, which would turn to snow later, late in the fourth quarter. Beasley, Morgan, give him six. Seven catches, a buck 99, a couple of touchdowns. Snyder's going to go for two in the snow. Two-point conversion would be no good as 29-28. Solich giving Crouch instructions late. Down the middle, the pass for Davison, broken up by Deshaun Carter. Crouch. Two of 13, the goalposts, they tried to get him down. They rocked on him for a while. 
Kansas State wins it 29 to 28. Nice rebound for the Wildcats who really look to be uh, disillusioned after the Oklahoma loss. It looked like South Carolina and Florida. The Gators not sound in the kicking game. Got a couple blocked. One right here. Carlos Spice taking it in. It's 14-3. Carolina blocked another one and scored a touchdown to make it 21-3. Now it's 21-17. Jesse Palmer. That's how the old ball coach drew it up. Yeah, what's Thomas Moody. Thomas Moody, but what's Jesse Palmer doing in the ball game, Reese? That's Grossman. Well, Rex had to go sit down and take a rest and watch for a little while. After the Gators had the breakdown in the kicking game, Lito Shepard decides to return the favor with a little Lito shuffle on the punt return. We saw him do this a couple of weeks ago on an interception, but he is so good returning the ball that they moved him over to the offensive side. They let him return some kicks, and he can dance just like the record. 41 to 21, Holtz crew endures an avalanche of 38 unanswered Gator points. The Gators win. Line Ivy, current owners, Kirk Kittner. Rolling to the corner, Michael Doss is coming with the headgear, John. Get down. This should have been a penalty because when the quarterback slides, you are supposed to stay off. Kittner seemed to be out cold but did walk off under his own power. Certainly that's good news. Fourth quarter, same drive. Dustin Ward pay it off for the Illini, finding Jameel Cook, 21-18. Illini up. Fourth quarter, tied at 21. Dan Stoltz, toe meets leather. High enough. Long enough. And barely straight enough. 24-21, the Buckeyes survive. Illinois falls to 5-5, five and five, Ohio State resilient. Yeah, Ohio State stays alive in the at-large race for the BCS. The only Big Ten team to have a shot at it. If they get in, that's $10 million more to the conference, but it might not happen. Wolverines up 20-3. Drew Henson, a little throwback, don't we call this, fellas? B.J. Askew. Throwback, and... The, the sad thing for Penn State defense, Reese and Rod, is that they hit him on this exact play earlier in the game, and Penn State never made any adjustments defensively to recognize it. 33 to 11, the final. Penn State loses seventh game, first time, first seven loss season in, I don't know, eons since in Washington against UCLA. Third quarter, Pat Conniff slamming in there. Washington on top, 28-21. Conniff's second touchdown. It's 35-21. Corey Paws trying to get the Bruins back in, and both of these teams quite adept to coming from behind. Brian Poley Dixon cuts it to a touchdown. Decision time for New Heisel. Fourth and one. Conniff didn't get close this time, and the Bruins take over, and perhaps Rick wishing he'd punt. He didn't want to risk the block punt with under a minute to go. Next play for UCLA, pause. We'll have pause for reconsideration after being stripped by Anthony Kelly. Huskies recover it. New Heisel and company thinking about a BCS game. And as we mentioned earlier, perhaps if things fall this right, even the Orange Bowl, 35-28 final. Huskies won again. Well, the Huskies had their way with the UCLA defense that is right now taking on Cal two-point game Kyle Bowler much improved Jeff MacArthur with some terrific running here coach yeah, Kyle Bowler and the Cal Bears surely did it now watch this right left spin we saw the 360s all day today all over the country That's making right. a comeback Cal leads 17-12 fourth quarter Joey Harrington Keenan Howery fingertip me Ducks go on to win it 25 to 17. They are still unbeaten in the conference with the Civil War coming up next week. Joey Harrington's the most underrated quarterback in the country. On the move, Ben Lear. Floats one out there and Terrell Vieira. There goes Terrell Vieira. <laughs> and in 75 yards, he takes it to the house and the dogs are on top 7-0 and Hartwell, Georgia native Ben Lear, less than amused. Third quarter, Auburn down 13-3, but it is Rudy time. Boy, this guy always runs Rudy, downhill. Rudy, he? Rudy. He is tough, tough, tough. Ripping off 55, setting up Auburn first and goal. Now it's Lear. Standing in the pocket, tall and finding Reggie Worthy. Tigers back in it down by three. Fourth quarter tied at 13. Remember how Lear and Ronnie Daniels cut up the dogs in Athens last year? Not so devastating in this one. We get a touchdown there, 20 to 13. It's 23 13. Another Hartwell, Georgia native. Corey Phillips to Terrence Edwards. Dogs back in at 23 20. Fourth quarter, Georgia driving. Billy Bennett ties it up, and the dogs have saved themselves temporarily. First overtime. Georgia got a field goal. Here comes Rudy. Breaking tackles. Rudy slamming inside the two yard line, and from there, Ben Laird. 
getting it done. Auburn wins it 29 to 26. Rudy Johnson with his ninth 100 yard game this season. Not Cribs, not Brooks, not Fullwood, not Bo. No Auburn running back had ever done that. Yeah, and where was the Georgia run defense? It was supposed to be pretty sound. Rudy wore them down. Reese, this was supposed to be the dog's year. I Potential BCS spot. Notre Dame leading 7-3. Tony Fisher, he had a huge day. Fisher going for a buck 94-37 here. Notre Dame up 14-3. Irish up 21-10. Trickeration? Trickeration. Adam Tibble, a little pitch to the kicker, Nick Seta. Uh, Nick's feeling like he ought to be a position player now. Notre Dame winning it against BC. There's a little bad blood in this rivalry, 28-16. The Irish didn't appreciate the way Chris Hovan, for one, tore up pieces of the turf after the Eagles won a year ago. TCU, Fresno State, TCU coming off the first loss of the season, and apparently LaDainian Tomlinson suffered no ill effects. He is logged on. Almost got knocked off. It's part of the Gone Network. 65 yards. He went for a cool 231 on the afternoon on 42 carries. And TCU, a 24-7 winner over Fresno State. And LaDainian is going to finish the season as the nation's leading rusher. He's going to definitely be a candidate for the Heisman. Full trip. Or maybe not. Third quarter, Purdue down 15-3. Drew Brees throwing the magic bean to his buddy Vinny Sutherland. Nobody going to catch Vinny. 68 yards. Purdue earned business down 15-10. Same score in the third. Sure, man, Brees. They call for another pass play. He's in the shotgun. Ronaldo Hill has a green jersey. That's not what he wanted to do. Brees, 26 of 43. Three interceptions, just one touchdown. Fourth quarter, stayed up 23-10. Little John Flowers. Giving effort, effort is a key to success, even if you're only wearing one shoe. Kids, this is why you need to spat, because that's what you run into if you don't spat them up. He had 174 yards on the day. Breeze says, oh my, we need help now. Purdue, 30-10, a loser. Spartans, second rated pass defense. They stand up to Breeze. Yeah, you got a chance now. They're playing Iowa at Kinnick Stadium. Kyle McCann up top. Kevin Casper's pretty open. He catches it. Casper becomes the all-time reception leader in Hawkeye history, even though we love Tim Dwight and some love for the Harmon brothers as well. Northwestern trying to come back. Zach Kustak. Cunley Patrick drives, stays alive. Third and goal, Iowa. At the Iowa one. The sneak in for the TD, 20 to 10. Next, Northwestern drive. The snap way over the head of Kustak. Taken down for a 22-yard loss. Northwest would punt and lose 27-17. And Kirk Ferentz. Hey, the Hawks are three and four in conference, even though he's moist. No magic purple. Iowa won five and zero with the Big East first quarter. John Terman. He's intercepted by Philip Buchanan, and Buchanan gets a great block from Damian Lewis and goes 71 yards. That was a sensational block. In fact, let's take a look again. Watch Lewis on the rush. He's got a little helmet issue right there. Not yet, but the helmet gets a little loose, so you know what? We gotta get rid of the headgear. And he still, now he keeps his poise. Makes it the block for Buchanan. Terman, 17 of 31, he threw two first half picks. Third quarter, Kane's up 13-7. Ken Dorsey, play action. Ivan Mercer wide open. Dorsey, 22 of 35, 264, two touchdowns. Hurricanes win 35-7. Forget scoreboard watching. Butch Davis got his Oklahoma-Texas A&M update from one of the side judges on the field. Miami hoping to leapfrog Florida State for number two of the BCS. Forest in Winston-Salem, first quarter, Chris Wanky. Marvin Minnis, that's a touchdown. Florida State up 7-0, there's that word again. Wanky, 23 of 36, 324 yards, five touchdowns. Three of them to Marvin Minnis, third quarter. It's Snoop again, his third. Knowles up 21-6, fourth quarter. Watch the gorgeous Winky fade to Anquan Bolden. FSU drops Wake Forest to 1-8, but the Seminoles needed a big number, and they only managed 35. Bowden ties Amos Alonzo Stag with 314 wins, fourth most in Division 1A. But since it wasn't a blowout, the Knowles expect to drop behind Miami into third in the BCS. Big Tails ranked 10th in the polls early first quarter. Beavers at the 30-yard line. Jonathan Smith, nice pitch to Chad Johnson. They call him down at the 1. Oregon State had to settle for a field goal. It's 3-3. Late first quarter, Ryan Seska. No, no. Yoink! How about that? The bank shot. OSU takes a 6-3 lead. Here they're going to get seven. It's 13-3. Jonathan Smith to Chad Johnson. Arizona did not bear down. 
and they are a loser in this one by a count of 33 to 9. The Wildcats four straight Pac-10 loss, which means their streak of being the only team in the Pac-10 never to be Colorado State at Air Force. Snowy, cold, 17 degrees. Fourth quarter, Colorado State down five. Cecil Sapp up the middle. And Cecil Sapp is going 89 yards. This is the longest run from scrimmage in Colorado State history. Makes it 34-31 Rams. Falcons would answer, though. First and goal, Nate Beard. Nate Beard through the middle. He had 149 yards and three touchdowns on the day. Air Force wins 44-40. Falcons are now bowl eligible. Finally, number 19, Texas at Kansas. Texas freshman Roy Williams, what a day for him. First quarter, he gets this pass from Chris Sims. 38 yards, he's in there. Williams just getting started. Second quarter, Sims again, Williams again. This time, 65 yards, 23-16. Horns lead. More Williams in the third. This time, it's the end around. 35 yards here. Where is he? Call the union. We got to get a camera guy. Texas wins 51-16. Mississippi State's Fred Smoot said...